Tariq St. Patrick. You under arrest for the murders of Officer Danilo Ramirez and Professor Jabari Reynolds. We all know Tariq will come out of this arrest, but how is the question of the day? First of all, what are the evidences against him? One, the book Professor Jabari was writing, which states some things that was linked to Tariq. Two, Ramirez's badge that Kane left in his drawer. Point is, Tariq was neither caught killing nor selling drugs. Also, the custody fight for his sister at the same time will end up playing a significant role in his freedom. And if time allows me, I'll break that down for you as well. Now, let's focus on the evidences against Tariq and how these evidence will end up freeing him. Also, I'll talk about the possible people who will have to aid Tariq get his freedom. Now, if you're new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave your comments below. The first evidence, which is Jabari's book, is highly arguable and can be considered as null and void in court. Reason being that when Jabari started writing his book, he was using Tariq's written materials that he submitted as an assignment. One can say he was plagiarizing Tariq's work. The suspicion he had that Tariq was sleeping with Carrie provoked him to take further steps to assign Tariq to write an essay after he, Jabari, marked Tariq down in the fellowship course. He then requested he writes a personal essay for him and that he should write about the nature of power in a relationship. He added that he wants him to go deep and add details and specifics. Well, I want you to write a personal essay for me, but I need you to go deep. About what? I want you to write about the nature of power in relationships. I can do that. But I want details, Tariq. Now, what we didn't see was who Tariq actually wrote about. It could be that he wrote about his parents' love life and how Angela came into the picture. Now, this assignment got Jabari intrigued and he researched into Tariq's family. He researched into Reina, Angela, and he did the math. Then he realized that Tariq was telling his own story. He then sent it to the publishing guy without the ending of the story if the kid in the story ended up dead, in jail, or graduated from school. This is when Jabari started to track Tariq to see if he has inherited the drug dealing gene from his parents. At this point, he realized his story would not be complete without Tariq giving him the ending part of the story. This made Jabari more aggressive and desperate to get the ending of the book at all costs. Now, this is the first thing that will help Tariq. In Jabari's quest, he opened up to Tariq about his intentions and offered him a deal to pay him. So Tariq has his first tool to use and the fact that he knew about the book and the offer Jabari made him. So in conclusion, if Tariq is the one who wrote the book, why would he kill Jabari for the same thing he wrote? Secondly, Detective Santana witnessed when Jabari was talking to Tariq in his office. He also saw Jabari writing his number to Tariq to call him to finish the discussion. So in this case, there is a good relationship established between Tariq and Jabari if Detective Santana comes back in the picture as a witness. So if they are basing the argument on the book Jabari was writing as the motive for Tariq to kill him, Tariq can say he was the one helping him write his book. And if care is not taken, it could even be established that Jabari was rather stealing Tariq's intellectual property and this could also end up discrediting his previous writings. Now, before I talk about Ramirez's badge, here is another window for Tariq to create problem, especially for Carrie. If you remember the beginning of this investigation, Tariq partially committed Carrie to Detective Kelvin and she became the suspect. Now that Carrie is so hard on Tariq, he can possibly expose her sleeping with a student which he got to know recently that it was Zeke. If Tariq is smart enough, he will remember the card he got from her assignment which stated that a professor is sleeping with a student. To the main thing. Now, the found badge of Ramirez in Tariq's drawer shouldn't be difficult to prove and here is why. If indeed the police is sure that Tariq killed both Jabari and Ramirez with the same gun, why would he keep the badge in his room when there is an ongoing investigation of the same murder case? This doesn't make sense because he could have thrown the badge away with the body. I know Tariq will not snitch on Kane because he knows what happens to rats. Not only that, but if Tariq should attempt snitching, it means he knew something and that can make him an accomplice which is by the way though. So snitching on Kane is not an option for Tariq but I strongly believe Kane has definitely made a mistake in the process of framing Tariq. Take a look at these tweets about Kane. Oof. 
Now, let's say they focus on an autopsy on Ramirez's body. You know, before Kane killed Ramirez, he hit him in the face and broke his nose. If proper examination of Ramirez's body is done and they found out that he wasn't only shot but he fought and had his nose broke as well, then the matter of height and strength will come to play. Then they can compare Tariq's height and that of Ramirez to see if it is possible for Tariq to take a cop like Ramirez down in a fight by punching him on the nose, take his gun and shoot him at close range in the chest and the head. So if my theory happens to be the case, that will go a long way to prove easily that Tariq wasn't the one who shot Ramirez. Then it also means that the same person who had Ramirez's gun ended up shooting Jabari with it. This is because it would take a professional to skillfully beat a cop, take his gun and shoot him in the head and Tariq definitely doesn't look like a professional killer with the evidence on his face as a result of the recent beating he received trying to follow Kane to locate Mecca. And if this happens, Kane will be back to the potential suspect zone. And if Tariq is freed, he will surely frame Kane at all costs. If Tariq still has the GTG guy's phone, to which Kane has the number, he won't hesitate to use that phone to frame Kane. Now my question to all of you is, will Tariq trust Davis to take this case or he will fall on Tameka? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now moving forward, this is where we'll see where Braden's loyalty lies. He was the one who followed Kane to go and assume Ramirez's body and how will Braden use this information to help his friend, either by telling Tariq the truth about where Kane sent him. But if Braden for the fear of losing Tariq's trust decides to keep this information from Tariq, Tariq will end up knowing Braden is hiding something from him because apart from him, Braden and Tariq, no one could have entered their room without either of them opening the door. And definitely, Tariq will know about the found badge of Ramirez so he will easily conclude that it was Kane who framed him. Now, I heard some people saying Diana will help Tariq frame Kane just like Tasha helped Ghost frame Kane. Well, I think differently about this because Diana is family to Kay. In as much as she might not like or agree with her brother's actions, for her to snitch on him to go inside will not come easy. Besides, Tariq is not her relative, let alone her boyfriend, so I doubt Diana will snitch on her brother for him. Now, the person that will feel more guilt is Lauren. The fact that Tariq is fighting hard for his sister and now going to jail all because she decides to be a spy, she will feel it was her fault because I know she still won't believe it was Tariq who committed those crimes. Now, who else apart from Braden can pull some string to help Tariq? Now, Tate has an unfinished business with Tariq. He still wants some evidence on Sweeney. So if Tate should find himself talking to Tariq in jail, if all hope is lost for Tariq, he might give a piece of the rape information about Sweeney to Tate in order to help him out of jail. If Tate is sure he'll get evidence from Tariq, he'll probably go to Simon's stand to pull some strings for Tariq to be freed. Simon, on the other hand, will also be glad to help free Tariq because of Zeke and the club business are truth. Because if Tariq end up in prison without finishing school, Stan doesn't have a deal. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this theory I just put across. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, leave your comment, and let's get interactive about the mid-season finale and what is going to be happening in coming episodes. Thanks for watching and catch you in my next video.